Hello guys. So in this video, we will understand the main differences between bagging and boosting machine learning algorithms. So let's get started. So in both bagging and boosting machine learning algorithms, our main end goal is to have a machine learning model which has low bias and low variance. Correct? And we achieve that particular type of model by following different ways and based on the different ways, we have divided the ensemble methods into two, two main categories bagging and boosting right so bagging stands for bootstrap aggregation and boosting is also called as additive modeling okay so i have already given you an introduction on what is bagging and what is boosting in separate videos so you can go back and refer to those videos and then come back to this particular video okay so now let us start to understand the main differences between bagging and boosting so there are mainly three categories based on which these two types of algorithm differs right so the first type is type of base learners that we use. Second one is that approach that we take for training. And the third one is how do we predict? How do we make the predictions out of those models? Okay. So let's start to understand one by one. So coming to the first one, the type of base learners. So in case of bagging, we make use of something, something called as low bias and high variance models. Right. And we convert them into low bias and low variance in the end. So the best example for low bias and high variance model will be a fully grown decision tree. Okay. When I say fully grown decision tree, each of the data point will be at that particular leaf node. Okay. So there will be no overlaps. Each of the leaf node will be one particular data point. So we will go on recursive split again and again and again till we overfit the training data. Okay. So when we try to predict it on the test data or unseen data, it will not do well. That's why we call it as having high variance and low bias. Okay. So this is this is the type of base learner. Okay. And then when it comes to boosting, we make use of the models which are high bias and low variance. Okay. And we then convert this type of models into low bias and low variance so our end goal remains the same we have to achieve low bias and low variance that will not alter right so the example for high bias and low variance model you can think of a shallow decision tree shallow decision tree or a decision tree stump okay so what do i mean by shallow decision tree or decision tree stump the depth will be one the depth of a tree will only be one level so we will not split it further the max depth will be set to one so these type of models will usually be high bias so they will not do well on the training data itself okay so this is what boosting employs so we for bagging we consider low bias high variance model we convert them into low bias and low variance models and in boosting, we consider high bias and low variance model. In the end, we convert them into low bias and low variance model. Okay. So, this is the first difference with respect to type of base learners employed in bagging and boosting. When it comes to training approach, we do parallel training in case of bagging algorithm. So, when I say parallel training, so, you know, bagging stands for bootstrap aggregation, right? So, what we do, we will have the data set, right? We will split this into multiple data sets. And what the technique we employ? We employ random sampling with replacement to create multiple data sets, RSWR. So, this stands for random sampling with replacement, okay? And with each of the sub data created out of this data set, we will train one model each. So, model 1, model 2, model 3, so on up to model k. Right? So, each of these model will get trained on its own subset of the data that we have with us. Okay? And in the end, we will combine the combine all the models and then arrive at one particular prediction right and each of these models will be of type low bias and high variance okay and when we combine everything we will achieve the intended goal that is low bias and low variance 
So this is our training approach with respect to bagging algorithm. So we train k models, multiple models in parallel. Okay. So this is how training is done. In case of boosting, it's a sequential training. So why it's a sequential training? Because we will have the data set. We will have the data with us. Then what we do? We first train a model one on that particular data set and we will have its own predictions and its own errors p1 and e1 then what we do we take a second model m2 we take the entire data and we feed the errors that are committed by model 1 to this model 2 so that this model 2 takes extra care on those data points which are mistreated or mispredicted by model 1 okay so, in order to do this, model 2 has to wait for model 2's, model 1's completion, correct? So, similarly, if we plan to have k models in case of boosting also, for model 3 to start training, we have to wait for model 2 to complete its training so, can, so that we can have its predictions and we can have its errors. Let's call it as P2 and E2 and we will feed the errors E2 to our model 3 along with the data that we have. So, this model 3 will also have its own predictions and its own errors P3 and E3. So, this will continue till we train desired number of models M, K, right. So, this will be E, K minus 1 and it will have its predictions P, K minus 1 here. So, there, there will be a model here. This is M, K minus 1, correct. So, in the end, we combine all of these things to achieve our main goal that is low bias and low variance. So, in order to achieve this type of error handling and training the model and improvising each sequential model from its pre predecessor, we need to have a sequential setup to train the boosting machine learning models. Okay. So, this is again a main major difference between bagging and boosting. Okay. Now, coming to the third one. How do we predict? So, what we do in case of bagging, we give equal importance to all of these models, right? So, in case of classification, we make use of majority voting. So, let us say this model 1 is predicting some data point to belong to class 1, this is predicting to belong to class 0, this is also predicting to belong to class 1, and this is predicting to belong to class 1, that particular data point. So, in the end, we make use of majority voting and consider the majority of the predictions which are true. So, in this case, out of four, three models are predicting that particular data point to be belonging to class 1 and only one model is there which is predicting that data point to be belonging to class 0. So, in this case, the prediction is majority 1. So, here the majority is class 1, right. So, this will be how we will be predicting with respect to the bagging machine learning algorithm. Okay. So, when it comes to boosting, we will have own weights associated with each of these models alpha 1, alpha 2 with m2, alpha 3 with m3, alpha k with mk. So, in the end, we will combine all of the model predictions. Right. So, let me say alpha 1 into predictions of model 1 plus alpha 2 into predictions of model 2 plus alpha 3 into predictions of model 3, so on and so forth, up to alpha k minus 1 into predictions of k minus 1 plus alpha k into predictions of k. So, this is how we predict any given data point in case of boosting algorithm. So, what are these alphas? These are the weights associated with each of the models. Weights associated with, you can call it as base learners. Okay. So, each of these base learners in the boosting algorithm will have their own weights depending upon how much error they are committing. So, based on that, if there is a model which commits very less error, that model will get more weightage that will get to have more say during the prediction phase and remaining models will have less importance or less weightage during the prediction. Okay. So, these are the three main basic differences between bagging and boosting machine learning algorithms. So, this question is also asked in interviews just to assess your basic knowledge, whether you have the basic understanding how bagging and boosting machine algorithm differs. Okay. 
So that's it for this video guys. If you like the content, please give it a thumbs up, share it among your peers. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Till we see in the next video. Happy learning. Bye bye.